Ethico and its partners within the intelligent transport system and service community are all very grateful to you for providing us with this excellent opportunity for discussion and to supply you with the necessary information in your work within the Parliament to improve mobility and simultaneously reduce its negative side effects. Vice Chair of the European Parliament's Transport and Tourism Committee, by Mrs. Gourmet, apart from being a substitute on the same committee, um, and the former rapporteur on the Intelligent Car in Initiative, has long worked with Artico and maintains an abiding interest in ITS. Thanks a lot for this trustful cooperation. Artico initiated this breakfast workshop series to create a rather intimate platform for debate on European political issues to move ITS forward. Today's workshop is on intelligent into urban mobility. In Europe today, the vast majority of citizens live and work in urban areas. Sharing transport infrastructure with industry and commerce, urban mobility is the most promising and important field of ideas and applications, offering the greatest potential for improvement with relatively low cost. And please keep in mind the knowledge we will gain in implementing and operating ITS in urban areas will be needed globally, as for instance in China, more than 1,000 new megacities are intended and transportation in existing megacities has to be improved. So ITS solves problems globally and creates working places in Europe. <coughs> So what are the most important political challenges to quickly develop and deploy the full potential of ITS in urban areas? First, support the creativity of all ITS stakeholders. Second, establish cooperation between all stakeholders. Third, establish business models for public and private investment. Fourth, ensure interoperability and seamless functioning of service and fields develop a consistent and effective policy program at European and national levels. The Artico partnership acts on all these challenges, supporting the European institutions and all related initiatives on this mission. In this context, we are currently involved in over 20 European projects, co-organize the ITS World Congress, host the important and successful network of national ITS associations, and bring together approximately 100 partners from both the public and the private sector. At the today's workshop, we intend to introduce three examples of ITS applications which can improve urban mobility. We hope it will stimulate the debate between policy and the private sector about the most useful and promising ITS services for urban, urban areas and useful steps to achieve their effective deployment. I'm very pleased to welcome Christian Rousseau from Renault, Hans-Joachim Schade from Siemens and Jan van der Weyl from Technolution. Uh, we have agreed to introduce these three examples and start today's discussion. I would also like to welcome Edgar Thielmann, Thierry van der Peel and Anders Siegers from the European Commission. They will later give us the institutional viewpoint in a panel. Thank you for your attention and I will now 